Well, Alright, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. Now in today's video We are going to be talking about one of the most problematic people and now I know I've called a lot of people problematic But this one might just take the cake. This is a youtuber who lacks care for anyone else A selfish woman who decided to put her dog down for a reason that could have easily been resolved and that person is Nikki Felipe. Now the content she posts is mainly based around her family a family channel I guess you could call it. Yeah, very creative. And in the last two months, she's posted 10 videos and half of those videos has been about her child. It's as if the only reason she had a child was to make videos about it. Ooh, to be fair though, they do bang views. Huh, the yes, family had 22 million views this month. Andrea? No! Okay. How about you, Nova? No. Nice. By the way, Nova's my dog. Stick around for the end if you want to see some content of her. Maybe I'll make Nova have babies with another dog so I can bang YouTube views. However, you might be saying, Curtis, there's no way someone would have a child just to make videos about it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is funny enough exactly what I'm saying. Two years ago, Nikki and her husband decided they wanted to adopt a child from Thailand. Kinda oh, nice, isn't it? Giving a child a better life, bringing them into your loving home to take care of them. She cancelled the adoption. She fucking cancelled it. They did this because they later realised there's a law in Thailand stating that once you have custody of the child, you are not able to speak, post videos or pictures of them for a year from adoption. Hmm, adopt a child and give it a better life or YouTube milli views. Hmm, it's an hard choice, ladies and gentlemen. She did actually adopt the child after. What kind of person in their right mind would cancel an adoption just because of YouTube views? Surprise, Nikki and Dan. Nikki Felipe and her husband decided to not go through the adoption because they couldn't put their child on YouTube. Oh no, I can't use my adopted child for YouTube views. <gasps> could my life get any worse? I mean, it could get better by installing Raid Shadow Legends. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, even my granddad is playing Raid Shadow Legends right now. So yeah, you guessed it. This video is sponsored by them. Clever you. So you want to play on your console, but you can't, because your mum's taking away your controller again. Well, not to worry, because Raid Shadow Legends is the first game to bring us console quality gameplay right to your phone. The level of this game is far superior than any other app I've seen, and it's only going to get better. The game offers over 500 champions, which you can experiment over millions of different champion combinations to see which tactics work best for you. Use your army and send them into the fiery depths to battle bosses, dungeon runs, PvP arena and also campaign missions. I will say there are fucking links in the description, alright? So you better download the fucking game now, alright? It's on PC as well. What more could you ask for? Now I've been playing Raid for a decent amount of time and these are some of the champions that I believe are worthy enough to be in the Curtis Price garrison. Firstly, this animal. Look at him. He'd eat you for breakfast. He's tanky as fuck, but you might say he's all meat and no beat. A meathead. <laughs> well. This is where I surprise you. This champion's skills are all about dealing damage. And you're on solid chance against him. Alright? And this is the other champion I love. His name is Astralon. These graphics are insane on this champion. He looks like an animal from, like, some sort of mythical, you know, something. He looks like a beast. He fights like a beast. He defends like a beast. And what I really enjoy about this game is that you could just keep unlocking champions and play the game for endless of hours. And that really tickles my pickle. But this insane champion wrecks in the arena. He is extremely useful to me. Definitely worth the download. And this month, Raid actually released a bunch of new things. They have 11 new champions. Also nearly 200 brand new missions to complete with an exclusive legendary champion as your reward if you can beat them all. And if that's not enough, well there are also 5 new tough levels to almost every dungeon in the game. Better download it then, I guess. <laughs> so what are you waiting for, ladies and gentlemen? Go to the video description, click on my links, and support my channel because downloading this game really does help. Raid Child Legends has been friends of the channel for over a year now, so it would help me massively. And you know, it does support me. It supports me when you download this game. Do you want to support me? Do you? Please do it. Okay, that's all I ask for. I don't ask for much. It's free. <laughs> but with that said, let's get right back into the video. Now you've probably clicked on this video wondering what I have to offer. Well, let me lay it out for you. In my own unique way, I will be speaking more on her cancelled adoption, her dog which was carelessly put down, and organised a photo shoot before ending its life. And simply just more hypocritical behaviour that I have uncovered. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and get us to 80,000 before the end of the month. Here's my puppy. We'll see her more at the end of the video. She's extremely excited right now because you've been outside for pee, haven't you? A pee pee? Yeah. Alright, fucking hell. I'm kiss you this video, won't you? That was a one-time thing, alright? Let's get 3,000 likes on this video and of course comment for the algorithm, ladies and gentlemen. I want to reach 80k, like I said, so fucking subscribe. And I will forever be eternally grateful. Now, roll the intro. Hey, what? <laughs> Let's just say that masks are totally effective. I don't love wearing 
a mask. You are not allowed to talk about them or share any images, photos, videos, anything about them online for a year. Because you love an animal, you don't want to make that decision. Many, many years for most of his life, he was an extremely dangerous animal outside the walls of my house. Oh my God. <laughs> dangerous animal. So ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with Nikki and Dan Filippi's dog. So recently a lot of people have been calling them out for their disgusting behaviour and decision for putting their dog down. They uploaded a video and an Instagram post explaining that they put him down because he was dangerous. But get this ladies and gentlemen, as the dog's last moments, they organised a fucking photo shoot. Imagine your last moments on earth being sat there with fucking cameras pointing at you, fucking flashing at you. Yeah. That's real thoughtful. You know, not a nice meal, a lovely day out, a big run in the field all day. No, a fucking photo shoot. Yeah, I'm sure the dog had a great time. Take pictures of me, turn the flash on, that's right. Hell, even take pictures of me naked holding my meat. No, that's, uh, that's, that's for a different website. <laughs> That's, that's a different website, yep, yeah, okay. But this poor cute motherfucker spent his last moments posing for Instagram posts. Put your head in the dishwasher and think about what you've done. For a bit of a backstory, they bought their dog over nine years ago and named it Bowser. And according to Nikki and Dan, this dog was a very aggressive dog. In Dan's words, it was an outdoor animal that had to be kept indoors. Yeah, that's what the ladies say about me. <laughs> no, they don't. You know, for many, many years, for most of his life, he was... He, an extremely dangerous animal outside the walls of my house. So he was definitely an outside animal that I had to keep inside. Seriously injured a couple different dogs, um, including Zoe, who's standing right here. Had her stitched up a couple times. Well, shocking indeed. Apparently Bowser had injured Nikki and Dan's other dog several times and also bit their baby. Mm, very dangerous animal. Vicious. I wonder what could have happened, you know, for these circumstances to happen. Now their baby was actually pulling on the dog's ear and pulling its tail several times. And when the dog would get up and move, the baby just did it again and actually injured the dog and gave it a swollen ear. And you know, dog's ears are pretty fragile, so the baby must have, you know, proper grabbed its ear to give it a cauliflower ear. But I'm glad that that's all the baby was pulling, you know, nothing else that was gentle. Otherwise, we'd be dealing with a fucking cauliflower penis next. Anyway, moving on. It's obviously not the baby's fault. Too young to understand. But maybe picking up your child and telling your child not to do that again. That probably, uh, probably would have, you know, solved the whole situation. But according to Dan, Bowser has been showing signs of aggression his entire life. And reasons behind this was because when he was young, he was attacked by another dog. So Bowser was attacked when he was a puppy. And we never really talked about that very much. But that was like a... That was a big turning point in Bowser's personality. So prior to the attack, <clears throat> Bowser could go to dog parks. Bowser was just calmer in general. And then after the attack, it just triggered something in him. And he was attacked by another bull terrier, actually my parents' old bull terrier. Um, but it's, it's, it's something that can happen with the breed. And so ever since then, things really took a turn. Well, so your poor dog was attacked early stages in this life and you never thought for a second to maybe, you know, take him to a vet or a professional to help him overcome his anxiety. You didn't seem thinking was to put the dog down, not even give it a chance with a trainer. For real, man, you fucking suck. But ladies and gentlemen, the reason the dog is showing signs of aggression is because it is traumatized by the attack. And now he's living in a constant fear of being harmed once again. So the great Nikki and Dan solution was to end the dog's life. But I just wonder, you know, before they decided this very difficult decision, I wonder how they could have helped Bowser, you know, feel comfortable and release his anxiety from being attacked again. I just wonder what a good fucking owner would do. You interested? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my you wonder why your other dog was attacked? Hmm. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they happily tease Bowser by putting another small afraid dog in front of his face. Those angry noises are from the little one due to fear. It's ironic because that's exactly how Bowser would respond if he felt threatened. Jesus Christ. In that clip, ladies and gentlemen, they probably gave Bowser a PTSD attack. And that's not good. At all. Fucking hell, your brains are just as big as my cock. Which isn't very big, you know. I get a flashlight, shine it, project the shadow onto the wall, send a picture of that to the women. They love it. No, I definitely don't speak to women. I mean, come on, look at me. 
But it's ironic, ladies and gentlemen, because they claim that Bowser attacked their baby due to the fact that the child was aggravating Bowser. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can demonstrate two very happy people happily aggravating a traumatized dog with another dog. Ironic, again. Double ironic. Woo! Would it be wrong to say that maybe this is your fault? You know, you made a mistake when taking care of the dog, so your correction of your mistakes was to put the dog down because you couldn't be asked to be responsible. But they did claim that at one point they got advice, which is that Nikki and Dan was just waiting for the worst case scenario to happen. So if they don't do something about it now, he may be forced by someone or forcing himself to put Bowser down in the future. Like that lady said, you're always waiting for the worst, the worst thing to happen and eventually it's like, is it going to get to a point to where uh, someone else has to put him down or I'm forced to do it because of something that horrible happened. Just sit there and wait for the worst case scenario. Don't get a trainer. Don't try and get a professional help. Just wait. Ah, the worst thing has happened. And at this point, once again, you should be asking yourselves, did I do enough? Did I do enough to improve this dog's life? Or could I just not be asked? You know, just couldn't be asked. So I put the dog down. Can't be asked, you know. Can't be asked a trainer. Yeah. Can't be asked. And, and they claim to love their dog so much, so why result to putting the dog down instantly instead of thinking, you had the dog for nine years, you know? That's a lot longer than most people's lives. Under the age of ten, obviously. <laughs> However, ladies and gentlemen, I can't help but feel a lot of their emotion in this video is put on. From the subtle sad faces, to the subtle huffing and puffing, to the subtle head on shoulder. Knees and toes. Beat you to it. Get fucked! <laughs> but let's just look at this emotion they show in this video. Because according to Dan, it was his best friend. Let's see how they act throughout this video. The door, right? And, it, you know, I grew up with... Because you don't want to make that decision. Uh, a really, really long time ago. Uh, and so, seriously... <sighs> Wow, 10 out of 10 acting. It's as if this video was made just for purely for views. And when you look into their eyes, I'm not feeling any genuine emotion. It's the YouTuber apology exhale for me. But in all of the sadness when this happened, uh, you won't believe how Bowser's best friend, Dan, reacted. Dan Filippi, husband, father, dog murderer, allegedly. This can't be real, surely, because uh, that's very comedic of you. That's Funny. If you listen closely, you can hear the laughing. No, that's just silence because everyone thinks you're a fucking idiot. However, now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about her being an anti-vaxxer. Refusing to wear a mask. I know, we've killed our dog. May as well kill everyone else in the fucking world. And also, apparently, uh, cancelling uh, adoption due to privacy rules. And I know we spoke about that at the beginning of the video, but we are going to be diving in deep now. You know, a deep dive, like... You just spread your cheeks more, I can't get my hand out. I'm really sorry. But for that, we are indeed going to be taking a trip to Comsense Cretin. And I'm sure you'll all enjoy this. So sit back and relax. And enjoy the collapse of Common Sense. Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen. I know you weren't expecting this, but um, I can't find my umbrella hat. So now we have to make the most ridiculous outfit ever just to go along with the, 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 the sequence. The, the segment. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Common Sense Cretin, where we dissect and destroy people's common sense. But as we are aware, ladies and gentlemen, Nikki and Dan apparently cancelled their adoption. They couldn't film or post videos about their new child, which is a bit strange because it does seem a little bit as if they only want to adopt the child just to post videos about it so they could get lots of views. Yeah, you guys are fucking class and I love you. Number one fan right here. But I think the best thing to do is to watch this video. And uh, let's see what we think. Well, yes, but also Thailand has a its own law that's unique to it that um after you are you pick up your child and they're your child, you are not allowed to talk about them or share any images, photos, videos, anything about them online for a year. Yeah, and that so I mean Nikki's got a YouTube channel and we share a whole lot. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. When that hit 
we literally were like, yeah. what? Like we literally were like, I, wait, what? <laughs> so we're like going around the house. We're like trying to figure out how this could work. Like hashtag baby blur face. Wait, what? <laughs> well, 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 isn't this a lack of common sense? The common sense involved is that you adopt a child because you want a child, not adopt a child to make fucking YouTube content about it. And honestly, they complain about the amount of hate and backlash they're receiving, but do you honestly really think you have an argument in any of this situation? You could have brought a child into a lovely household, except you decided to cancel it because of the horrible, disgusting laws in Thailand. They're so horrible. I can't post a child anymore for YouTube views. No, there'll be no pass in the Ace family now. But it's okay, ladies and gentlemen, because they actually now have their own child, which they do post about all the time. In fact, they were posting about this child even before it was born. They literally documented the whole pregnancy process just to put it on the internet for YouTube views. No, I definitely look like something from the Avengers. You can refer to me as... Tape Man. So as you can see, lack of common sense massively, but now let's talk about a lack of common sense again involving COVID-19. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, what Nikki said in her YouTube video. I don't love wearing a mask. It still makes me sad. So just talking about my emotions, I guess, really quick. It makes me sad that my baby will go out and most of the time doesn't see full faces. It makes me sad. Let's just say that masks are totally effective and that they completely help spread or help slow the spread. Let's just say that. That aside, it still makes me sad. Right, well, that's lack of common sense straight away. You look more stupid than I look right now. Let's just say that it helps, you know, slow down the process of COVID-19. Uh, yes, it does, which is why the whole fucking world is wearing them. <laughs> oh my God. And you said that it's sad that your child has to go outside and not see full faces. Well, spoiler alert, almost the entire world is like that right now. You're not the only woman in this world who has had a child during COVID. And lots of mothers are going to be doing the same thing. I don't love wearing a mask. It makes me sad. I mean, here's the thing. My real thoughts on masks are that I'm really sad by it. I and what I also feel about this clip, ladies and gentlemen, is that she's only thinking about herself. It makes her sad, makes her uncomfortable. Well, say that when you're giving COVID to an entire fucking elderly home. Good luck on that. Oh God, I wonder how the internet would take that. It makes you sad, Nikki, that you have to wear a mask. Meanwhile, people are actually dying from this virus. So why not join in with the rest of the world? You know, trying to be different. I understand, you're trying to be different. I get it, don't worry. But let's join in with the rest of the world and wear masks, you know, just to be safe. But I admit, yes, it is annoying wearing a mask. You know, it is. I don't like wearing masks, but I wear it because I have to, because it's government guidelines. But she's also anti-vaccine, which again is ironic because, uh, you're anti-everything it seems. But the only thing that you are for is putting your dog down for no reason. Yeah, I understand. I got you, Nikki. You are easy to work out. Oh yeah, the new vlog of 2021. All right, you nothing. Hey, Yogi! <laughs> come on, come on, Yogi! Come on! 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 She's always excited when she bites me like that. She's literally got my fingers in her mouth. <laughs> the fucking noises she makes. <laughs> Ow. You little munchkin.